After a great start to our Wednesday, we managed to see a ton of sun and it really warmed things quickly. We went from the mid 60s to the mid 70s and what a, a terrific uh, example of basically early fall weather. We enjoyed it was for all intents and purposes. It felt like it was about Labor Day uh, weekend type weather with a high of 75 degrees, but uh, boy, uh, way above average for October to say the least. But what a beautiful round of sunshine it was and now the skies have been clearer most of the night. The clouds are beginning to trickle back into the area and eventually we will see rain in the just a few hours time. In fact, here's a look outside from a CC Heights of our Lewis and auto camera uh, with showers around. Uh, it may make things a little extra gray for a while, but as you get close to the weekend, we'll have that bright sun to really uh, show these uh, colors nicely and the fall colors are really getting closer to the peak a little more than halfway there for most of southern Minnesota, northern northern part of Minnesota, the north half of the state now at or even beyond the peak. So if you want to see the colors up there, this is the time to go. Maybe, maybe in between, uh, if you can get there early in the weekend before they go past the peak with the colors, we will like to reach our peak next week at some point. Showers coming in for the south and east of spotty showers at first across Iowa and southwest Wisconsin. They'll reach most of our area really for the afternoon at first in the morning. Very sparse light showers. They will be around, but the afternoon looks to be the wet, the wettest stretch of weather today. 61 right now on the weather patio. We have some little starlight peeking through those clouds overhead. With extra clouds at times. Light southeast wind is a very mild setup this morning. Uh, temperatures running almost 20 degrees above the seasonal average for this time of the day. 59 Rochester, uh, Austin 63. Cresco 62 and again mild the morning 59 here in uh, Rochester officially at the airport light southeast winds showers will spread across the map at first very scattered larger batch of activity coming out of Illinois and the western periphery of the system they'll move up as that center of low pressure moves into Wisconsin then lower Michigan and then we'll see those wraparound showers bring us more widespread rain this afternoon and tonight uh, moving into the uh, uh, final stretches of the work week into early tomorrow but here's future track looking at the possibility of very sparse activity across the areas of the morning Afternoon features a little more widespread rain, uh, not an all day downpour, not an all day rain event, but there will be larger batches of rain moving through at times, especially through the evening hours. And then we'll see the rain hold on through tonight and then taper off first thing tomorrow morning. Most of the weekend looks OK. We have a spotty shower early tomorrow, maybe just a couple of showers Sunday. Saturday now does look mostly dry with a, a mild breeze and some really mild temperature 70s really for the entire weekend for highs. 59 today, spotty showers. Then we'll see more widespread rain in the afternoon hours. We'll see the day planner showing highs of around 68 degrees today, which is still well above the seasonal average by about 5 degrees, but definitely not as pleasant as yesterday with the sunshine in mid 70s. But 68 today, temperatures right around 60 through tonight as temperatures remain way above the climate average, even with the uh, dreariness of some clouds in much of the area. Light showers at first, more widespread rain in the afternoon, and especially the evening hours. It looks to be the wettest stretch of time in the next 24 hours of the storm system. As the center of low pressure that wobbles back to the east toward the Great Lakes, backside of the system features a sprinkle tomorrow morning, then increasing sunshine. Uh, a mild breeze look for highest tomorrow in the mid 70s. Another day of mid 70s Saturday with the gusty south breeze ahead of a storm system that will eventually bring light shower chances on Sunday. Temperatures right through the weekend looking mild though, low and mid 70s. Then as a cold front Sunday moves through, we'll shave off a couple degrees and by Monday of next week, a little bit of rain also keeping things a little bit cooler. Rain chances primarily today and best chances next week, Monday and Wednesday with very small chances over the course of the weekend. Uh, temperatures look very mild, even on the coolest day of the next week, uh, three or four or five degrees above average with a lot of 60s and 70s in store. Uh, light showers today, a mild southeast breeze, 68 the afternoon high temperature. In the southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Light rain off and on through tonight. Uh, the evening looking especially kind of wet. 58. Seven day forecast uh, of 70s for the weekend. Next week, mostly 60s, but still warm for this time of the year. Not perfect that we'll have a little bit of rain Monday, maybe even some thunderstorms next Wednesday with the cold front. Yeah, the weekend though looking pretty good, and it'll be here before we know it. It is coming. It's right around the corner. Thank you, Ted. <laughs>